This is a very important experiment which is able to answer to the main question, is it possible to predict earthquakes? So this experiment consists in a screwdriver electric which is hanging a block, a concrete block. Here are the piezometer sensor which are connected to Audacity card, sound card and uh, the software. And this is to increase the weight of the block. Here is an elastic, so constraints is going to accumulate and block is going to slip and we are recording the slipping of this block. So now I'm going to run the software and make the experiment. And here we can, uh, we can uh, speed, change the speed and we can see that the slipping is not regular. Sometimes it's a big slipping, sometimes a slow slipping. So, and we cannot, we cannot know when it's, it will slip. Then, yes, then, oh, okay, no, no, then, then. So now I'm going to save this uh, record and uh, export it. And after, Excel is going to run and treat those data. So result of Audacity work, working is this one. Each time the, the concrete block slips, there is some, uh, some, some record like that. And we can see that it's impossible to, to have a regular movement and we cannot, we cannot uh, predict the, the amplitude of the slipping. So we are here, two big slips and after treatment with Excel, here in purple we have the, the same thing and there is the sum is the sum of the, uh, of the, and the square and the sum of this curve to have cinetic energy. We have here the cinetic energy and here is the supposing equilibrium position. And we can see that the two big slips which are here are there. So it, were, it was uh, two big earthquake. And we have also a little earthquake uh, very far of the equilibrium position. And then the late the difference between the equilibrium and the effective position were big and so we have a big earthquake. The conclusion of this very important stick slip experiment is that it's impossible to predict when the, the earthquake occurs and how uh, so the magnitude. Mm -hmm.